children so let's start the next chapter chapter number 14 water suppose for some reason your family gets only one bucket of water every day for a week okay just imagine the whole family is getting only one bucket of water for a week imagine what would happen would you be able to cook clean utensils wash clothes or bath you cannot take even the you cannot even you know do any one of the work like you can't even take cook for a for cooking one week one one bucket so you keep on you need a lot of water isn't it so what are the other activities you would not be able to do what would happen if we do not have easy access to water for a long period of time apart from drinking there are so many activities for which we use water do you have any idea about the quantity of water we use in a single day children you have to just think about it and calculate the moment you get up in the morning you start using water till the night and in the night also for drinking you need water isn't it so how much water you must be using can you just calculate how much water do we use activity number one list all the activities for which you use water in a day some activities are listed in table 14.1 make a similar table in your notebook throughout the day measure the amount of water used for each activity by you and your other family members you may use a mug a glass a bucket or any other container to measure the amount of water used okay like for drinking three bottles four liters like this okay or for brushing for all this for bathing for washing utensils for washing clothes toilet cleaning floors any other means you can if anything is missing, you can make the list. You know, you can increase the number of columns in this. Then you have to write down the total water used in a day by the family. You know, have, now you have a rough idea as how much water your family uses in a day. Can you estimate the amount of water used by you for a personal cleanliness in a day. Using this information, calculate the amount of water needed by your family in a year. Oh my God. So how much in a day? Then in a year. Into 365. Now divide this amount by the number of your family members by the number of your family how many members are there number of your members of your family this will give an idea of the amount of water needed by one member of your family in a year now find the number of people that live in your village or your town so you may now get an idea of the amount of water needed by your village or town in a or your colony in a year okay so you can see children how much water we use in a day now Bujo wonders whether people living in different regions of our country get the same amount of water are there regions where people do not get an adequate amount of water? How do they manage? Yes, children. 
people living in different regions gets different amount of water now they have to manage because you know someone uh, some gets water for uh, 24 hours some for 12 hours some for even 8 hours like this they keep getting water you have listed a number of activities for which you use water now do you think our water requirement is limited to activities like this we use wheat rice pulse vegetables and many other food items every day we know that some of the fibers that we use for making fabric come from plants we know that some of the fibers that we use for making fabric that comes from plant isn't it the cotton jute it comes from plants is water not needed to grow these can you think of some more uses of water water is used for it is used in industries for producing almost all the things that we use so we need water not only in our daily activities but also for producing many things okay in the textile company for uh, you know making the thread then making the clothes then coloring it so you, for everything you need water for in the uh, you know medicine industry you need water M- mostly in all the industries you need water so paheli wants to tell you that about two glasses of water are required to produce each page of a book okay so two glasses are required to to produce one page of a book now so one copy like 100 pages copy how much water you need 14.2 where do we get water from so we get water where do we get water that you you, you use some of you may say we draw water from river nobody will say because nobody water nobody draws the water from the river now here spring pond well or hand pumps here yes, somebody might say that i have a well in my home and we use that we use that water i don't know about the pump hand pumps nowadays we do hardly find any hand pump some others might say we get water from taps have you ever wondered where water in the tap comes from water that we get from tap is also drawn from the lake or a river or a well and it is then supplied through a network of pipes isn't it so each of us may be getting water into our homes in different ways but finally all of us get water from the same source such as ponds lakes rivers and wells okay so we have discussed some of the sources of water and where where does the water come from to fill these ponds lakes rivers and wells you have to tell me okay so children just tell me the answer where does the water come to fill these ponds lakes rivers and wells tell me So once you are done with the video you can tell me the answer okay